song was from the Treniers. It was produced in 1953, and it was on the list of the often most censored songs of 1950s. I'm Robin Saunders, and I love cybersecurity. Cybersecurity education is my passion, and my websites will help to provide you with the resources that you need to keep safe in cyberspace. Senior citizens are having a lot more sex which is good, I think. I don't know. Is it good? <laughs> it's good. You know what? It's good unless the senior citizens are your grandparents. Then it's weird. <laughs> it's interesting, though, because this is not the, always the case. So in the interest of science, um, we went to L.A. Farmer's Market here at the Grove, and we asked seniors who gather there, there are a lot of seniors that spend the day there, to share their secrets to success when it comes to doing a little something called it. We're talking to people about a study that just came out saying, Senior citizens are having sex now more than ever. What's your secret? Who said that? Everyone said it. Not me. <laughs> Not me. Good luck to them, man. More power to them. Well, I'm going to be 80 this year, and I have a boyfriend who just turned 83. And I have to say, our sex life is great. What's your big move? What do you mean, big move? I'm not telling any secrets. <laughs> Seniors are having more sex than they've ever had. What's your secret? A little vodka couldn't hurt. <laughs> what is our secret? Well, you're not going to get pregnant. If you do get pregnant, are you worried you're going to have a 30-year-old? <laughs> What's the best way to get somebody into bed? What's the best way? You ask too much. <laughs> I can't answer. <laughs> oh, it's a secret. Yeah. Not guess. for me anymore. I did my job, believe me. Well, I'm not bragging or boasting, but when I was on, on the bottom... Well, let's see how I, I would get it. When I was on the bottom, I was a superman. When I was on top, no, when I was on top, I was a minute man. But on top, I was, uh, I'm, I'm getting me. With me on top, I was minute man. With me on top, I was Superman. When I was on the bottom, I was Superman. Minute man. <laughs> on top. Minute Man. Well, when I was on the bottom, I was Superman. On top, Minute Man. <laughs> that was the truth. What advice would you give to seniors who aren't having sex? You have to, you have to use it, and if you don't use it, you're gonna lose it. And you're using it. D d darn right I am. <laughs> I just did it today. You just did it today? Yes. And who's the lucky lady? My wife. God bless you. Yeah. What are some turn-ons? My turn-on? A smile. I like affection. Kissing on the neck, holding hands. I don't have many turn-offs. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> I don't like rough. Some people do. It's OK. For them, but I, I like a gentle, um, caring, loving. Even if they don't love me, they should be loving. So some romance, not just a one-way ticket to Pound Town. Yeah, yeah, I would say so. Yeah, but I mean, Pound Town is better than nothing. What we found is that baby boomers and seniors sexed just like the millennial. And that probably shocks you. 
But there is a wealth of new research that suggests that parents and grandparents are having more fun online than you think. Smartphones have made it much easier for everyone to stay in touch with romantic partners, even though they're geographically distant. And yes, sexting among seniors is on the rise. It's not just for kids anymore. Many seniors are using sexting to spice up their relationships. And both single and married seniors regularly send steamy messages and sexy pictures to their significant others. No longer is sexting something some <laughs> no longer is sexting something that only your children and grandchildren do. Now sexting is a way to bring out your flirtatious side. And the great thing about sexting at any age is the fact that it's private and you can have a bit of fun with your significant lover whether you're newly dating or you have been married for years and you want to spice things up again. Now the good news is that your smartphone is always with you and many of us are taking the opportunity to send sexy messages to the ones that we love and oh my busy seniors consider sexting a great way to keep things hot even when they can't be with their partners. Sexting can be romantic, it can be steamy, but if you choose to have fl some flirtatious fun, you need to remember that sexting can be risky on the internet. So that's where I come in. Danger, Will Robinson! Danger! No, Will Robinson! Danger! So, why is sexting a cybersecurity concern? Well, the first thing to remember is that nothing is private on the internet. You may be sending provocative images to flirt with your significant lover, but the person on the receiving side of the message can always save the images. Don't ever, ever forget, nothing is private on the internet. Always, and I mean always, make sure that you're, you're texting the right person because you can probably imagine how mortified you'd be if you accidentally sent a tantalizing text or a revealing picture to the wrong person. So make sure that you double check that you are in the right thread before sending, check the email, check it twice, and remember sexting is supposed to be your little secret. And don't overload it, don't overdo it, especially if you're in a new relationship. If you're dating somebody new, you may, may want to get to know them better before you start sexting and potentially sending them the wrong kind of message that will turn them off rather than turn them on. And remember, if you text pictures, the person receiving them can place them on social media sites and show them to everyone. And heaven forbid, if you lose your phone, yikes, then anyone can view and share your images. And some of you might know those apps like Snapchat that are designed to have images disappear in a matter of seconds. Well, the recipient can text, can take the text and capture a quick screenshot and put it out on the internet for eternity. And remember, eternity is a very long time. And in the terms and conditions of Snapchat, it actually states that Snapchat has the right to retain messages if it chooses. Yikes! Another reason why it's important to read the term and terms and conditions before you install any application on your phone or your computer. My next word of warning is to never log on to a public Wi-Fi network and send a racy photo. Free Wi-Fi may look inviting, but hackers can set up their own free Wi-Fi networks in an attempt to capture your personal information and your personal racy pictures that were definitely not intended for them. And something else to think about. Not everyone likes sexting or receiving racy photos on their smartphone. For example, they might feel embarrassed by your photo or they might be in a public place where others can actually glance over and see the photo in full display on their phone. And that's just embarrassing for everybody involved. 
You want to keep sexting private, especially if you have children in the house. Make sure that you delete your messages and don't ever leave your phone just laying around the house because you never know who's going to be able to pick it up. So give it a try if you want to. Senior sexting is alive and well, and it's worth trying if you want to reignite your passion in your marriage or dating or you just want to flirt a little throughout the day and build up the excitement. Just be sure to keep it private and respect each other's boundaries. Now, believe it or not, AARP actually says sexting is catching on with the 50-plus crowd, and sex don't traumatize people. Careless sexters traumatize people. Text messaging provides a positive opportunity for senior couples to enhance how they express and enjoy their sexuality. Don't let headlines about people using it to do inappropriate and stupid things put you off. The texting capacity of a cell phone is one of the best technologies that has really brought couples together, so use it. If you're new to sexting, text a quick love note to your sweetie during the day. Love you most, or I still want to go to prom with you. Now, if you want to turn up the heat when you're comfortable, try sexting something slightly different, like can't wait until tonight. And you may get a little bolder. And if you're feeling bold and you want to turn things up a notch, You can text something like, forget chocolate, I am craving the taste of you. Now, I found this this article, actually it was a CNN article, um, that was entitled, The Old Person's Guide to Sexing Like a Team. And of course, I decided, hmm, I'll take a peek at that. CNN, of all the places, wants to make sure that you're up on top of it. So they've published an extensive glossary of fun and sexy acronyms people are using to initiate sexual exchanges. So let's dive in and take a look. Get out your pens and pencils because here we go. Never know how much I love you Never know how much I care When you put your arms around me I get a fever that's so hard to bear You give me fever When you kiss me, fever When you hold me tight Fever In the morning A fever all through the night Now, that was some awesome music by, of course, the very, very famous Peggy Lee. hope you enjoyed that. I certainly did. So go and flirt. Enjoy each other. Life is too short not to have some fun. And as always, be cyber smart, but also be senior smart. And see you 
in cyberspace.